My friends, I'm gonna start in the kitchen and I'm gonna start right here at this little coffee area. As my subscribers know, I actually don't live at this condominium. I don't have a lot of appliances over here because I don't need them. So when I decorate, I decorate with decor. So I'm gonna start right here with this coffee area because I do come over here a lot and I have cup of coffee or tea. So I keep this replenished, believe you me. So we're gonna start with this little area right here to the right of my sink, and this is the coffee area. So I'm going, what I'm going to do this fall is I'm gonna start with just, I just used one of my napkins, folded it um, about three quarters there, and I'm gonna, instead of a tray, I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna see how this works. So I just used a dinner napkin and my little Keurig, my little white Keurig, I'm going to set right there. And to the Keurig, I'm going to set a coffee cup. I just took a little white riser and added it with an assortment of Keurig pods. I'm going to set that right there. And I also like tea, so I'm going to put my teapot here. But first, I'm going to come in, I'm going to set the teapot on this little riser, so this little wooden riser, and my white teapot. You can't have a teapot without cream and sugar, right? <laughs> so I'm going to come in with my cream and sugar. And I'm going to add a couple of these little sugar spoons. I'm going to add a pop of little cream color pumpkin right in there. And we can't forget my green tea, right? So I'm going to fill my little container with green tea and put pop it right there. Now I'm going to put something in, oh, there's an outlet. I'm going to bring some texture into this vignette. So I'm going to add just a one cutting board. In case someone wants a snack with their coffee or their tea, and that would be me, I'm going to add some little, small little dessert dishes. the back, it looks kind of empty, so I'm going to add something there to tie the season together. You know me, I have three of these vessels, and I absolutely love them. It's one of my Hobby Lobby favorite finds. I have three of these, I think. So I'm going to pop this right back here in the back, and I found these Cosmos at Hobby Lobby. I have them in just about every color. When I find this particular flower, I always grab it. This is almost like a little, um, I don't know, salmon color. Isn't that gorgeous? They're so easy to work with. And I have three stems and I'm going to pop them right down in the vessel. Just kind of ties, ties everything in, and now it looks like a fall vignette, right? Where I can have a cup of coffee when I get finished filming. So come and have a cup of coffee with me or green tea. I have some baked goodies as well. So that's what we did on the little coffee vignette. Decorating this corner. This is probably the hardest area not to decorate but to film because of I can't get back in here. So I have started, I have catty cornered a woven textured tray and put my lamp to the left of the tray. So that's what I'm that's my starting base with this corner. 
Kill in the back, back there, I have found this little print that I've had for, I don't know, a few years. Found it at Hobby Lobby. It's just a little canvas print. I'm gonna give it some life. And I'm gonna pop that, lean it on the tray. And just lean it up because I don't need a rise or anything. I put it on the back of the tray. And with my good old white ladder, and I'm gonna lean that right there. And my purpose is to conceal that outlet with that ladder. And to that ladder, I'm gonna add this beautiful three pumpkin dish towel. ladder on that end of the ladder leg. I'm going to add what else but another one of my little wreaths. I'm going to hang this right there. I come in with a cloche and I'm going to set the cloche right there. But to the cloche, I'm gonna add this beautiful cream pumpkin and pop the lid on. Now I'm gonna come into the tray and I'm going to add this fall dish towel with the, the leaves. And I'm going to fill the tray with pumpkins, of course. I love these with the leaves and the cream and with a little bit of raffia on it. I collect these every year at Hobby Lobby. They keep going up in price though. And I'm gonna put these to the back. Come right in here and add one of these little picks. This just matches the wreath. I love them. I'm gonna pop it right in there. Give it a little bit of height. I'm gonna come in with a little woven natural pumpkin and lean him right there. Now it needs something on this side, do you agree? So I'm gonna pop a little cutting board right there. And un by the cutting board, I'm gonna come in with one of these beautiful fall 2023 finds of my pumpkins. So my friends, that is how this little vignette turned out. Moving right to the left of the vignette that I just completed. And I'm gonna decorate this kitchen counter. And I'm gonna start by just folding in thirds a runner. I'm just gonna use this beige runner and fold it and put, make a base for it rather than just sitting it on the counter. I'm just gonna push that right in there. And my favorite little, one of my favorite little signs, almost everybody has one of these that I found at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna add that to the back. Come in with again with another one of my, I have three of these, these textured vessels. Gonna sit that right there. And to that, I'm gonna add some of this fol um, this foliage that's got a fall tint to it with the greens and the golds. 
some of my favorites. I add to these every year as well. And I'm gonna pop that right in the vessel and let it hang down. You to see two of these servers that I found at Home Goods this year. I, when I saw these, I absolutely fell in love with them. They're actually the wooden pumpkins and they're like little servers. And um, I found two, two different sizes. And with the, the silver brass there um, uh, for the stem, aren't those gorgeous? I just absolutely love them. So I'm going to add those right here to my vignette. I'm gonna put them up on one of these little easels. Just two of these pumpkins that I found at TJ Maxx with the leaf. And I'm gonna pop that one right there. Their textured pumpkin I'm going to place right here. And another small one right here. Put the one with the leaves. I'm going to slide this one right in here. Being careful not to cover up these gorgeous wooden pumpkins. And I'm going to add yet another cloche, one of my favorites. I'm going to add that right there. And a little small pumpkin. I put the lid on it. That is how this vignette turned out. As we're over here at the other end of the kitchen in the stove area. No, we're not gonna cook anything fried chicken today, we're gonna do some decorating. So we're gonna decorate this fridge, we're gonna decorate this little area here and put something on the stove. So let's see how this turns out. If you've watched my fall decor videos before, my spring, any type of decor videos, you know how I like to add wreaths to everything, especially my fridge. Now I have a side-by-side -side fridge over here and I really can't add a small wreath to that. So I add it to this side right here. I've got a magnetic hook up here and it just clicks right on there. And to that, I'm gonna add another one of my favorite wreaths that I have found at Hobby Lobby a few years ago, and I added a few more this year. So if you've seen decor videos on YouTube at all, you've seen everybody decorating with these babies, and they're absolutely my favorites. And I went to Hobby Lobby the other week and they were out. So I do hope they get some more in because I love these. They're so easy to work with. So I'm gonna pop this wreath right there. Looks like fall now. I'm just going to add a little white wash riser. I'm going to add a fragrant candle. And I love these little candles. I pick them up at Walmart and Kirkland's. And I'm going to zoom down just a little bit. And I do have a couple of fall dish towels hanging right there on the stove, on the, the stove door right here this little small counter space i'm going to add this little textured tray i don't know where i found this but it has a little bit of a bowl like i'm going to set that push that right back there little bowl tray i'm going to add a large white pitcher And I want to show you something that I found last year at Kirkland's on the back rack. 
Yep, in the back rack on this bed. I always look at the specials, and I found these little pods. They look like little pods. And I thought about cutting them and using them in a bowl, and I could do that too. They were like $2.79 or $2.97, and they only had three, so I grabbed all three. I have six pods. So I'm gonna pop them right in there. Just look at the texture. Just look at the colors, how it blends in with my fall leaves that I done on my table, dining table. That that it just I just love these colors. I wish there would have been more. I would have probably bought all they had. But that just fills in that little area very nicely. We're over here to the left of my sink, and that happens to be my bedreaded cleaning area. So we're gonna start with our cleaning products, and we're gonna build from there to do a little fall vignette. And let's see how this turns out. To the left of my sink, I always start with this marble riser that's easy, very easy to clean, and my soap and my lotion. And then I have my detergent and everything underneath the sink. I don't keep it on the counter. Just dish towel, fall dish towel, and I'm gonna fold it and put it underneath this little scrubby container just to give it a little bit of blendable fall decor there. And we can't have a cleaning area without good old paper towels, right? So we're gonna put the paper towels. They come in with a cutting board for texture. I'm gonna pop that, slide this right here. And I'm gonna come in with my little variegated chicken that I absolutely love, but he needs a little bit of elevation. So instead of putting him on a riser, I'm just gonna take this little bowl, this little, this little bowl that I have, and I didn't fill it with anything. I'm just, in, I'm gonna make him a riser. So he's gonna be up in the world. I'm gonna turn the bowl upside down and I'm gonna slide it right back there. And then I'm gonna put Mr. Rooster right on top. It gives added texture. It gives him some elevation. Now to his left, I'm gonna add two of these little faux arrangements that I found at Target a couple of years ago. And I'm gonna pop a third one right in here. So that is how this little cleaning area vignette turned out. It should be workable. We can do some cleaning there. So, yeah. Friends, we're moving over to my bar area and to the bar area, this is the last vignette, and to the bar area, I'm going to add this whitewash tray. And to that tray, I'm going to add another one of my matching tea towels, dish towels with the leaves. This gorgeous textured two-handle vessel that I absolutely love. And I'm going to set that right there. The handles, I'm going to add, I'm going to pop one of these ropes. You know me and my ropes. I'm known as the rope person, right? And the candle lady. So I'm going to add this. I'm going to come around here so I can do this. I'm going to pop this through. Pop it right through there. And 
and I'm going to just twist it, leaving one side longer than the other and toward the front. Well, I'm going to add these gorgeous stems. I've had these for several years. I have three stems and I'm gonna pop them right in the vessel and just let them be very drapey and very natural. To the back, I'm going to add a candle with a holder with a flameless candle. Add to the tea towel, a textured bowl. I love this bowl. I'm going to set that right there. And I'm going to add a small piece of this greenery that I broke off. Look at the variegation in there. Isn't that gorgeous? The golds and the mustard yellow and the greens. And it's just, it's seeded like a seeded fall eucalyptus almost. So I'm going to pop that right in the bowl and let it kind of drape out on a little bit on the tea towel. Add some pumpkins in the bowl. And I'm gonna add a small pumpkin and just lay him right there. I'm gonna put just a sprig of this it almost looks like grapevine, but I'm going to put this right in here. That is how this little island vignette turned out. So that is our final vignette. So I'm going to do a tour of the kitchen and do everything, show you everything up close. And then I will do, when I do the tour, I will put everything to music. So you can do, I'll put all the rooms to music. So that will be the very last one will be the fall condo tour. And that will be the kitchen, the dining room, the den, the entry, and the bedroom. And that will be put to music with no talk. So...
help but notice you coming down the street Smiling so dearly at everyone you meet And I can't help but notice you throwing me a glance A wink telling me there's a chance just got eyes for you I've just got eyes for you No other could enchant me Darling like you do Cause I've just got eyes for you I've just got eyes for you friends I thank you so much for watching this decorator series that I have done over here at my condominium this year I have so enjoyed decorating all these five areas for you and I would appreciate if you would check all five of the videos out certainly a whole that you and your family has a wonderful fall season with all the blessings that this, this season brings. It is my favorite and I, I just love fall. And I hope you and your family have happiness and get out and just enjoy the cooler weather and have all the blessings of the fall season. And again, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching, and uh, I want to leave you with my favorite words. Go out and make today better than yesterday, but always remember that I love you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.